Hello everyone, welcome back to another card opening here on Simon's Card Hot. My name is Simon and today we're going to be opening a box of The Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon from the 25th anniversary reprint run. So without further ado, let's open the box. I'm a bit scared because there will be lots of normal monsters in here. Unlike what Yugo is these days. But yeah, let's see what we can get. Also, most of the value is, of course, in the grand trio of Dark Magician, Blue Eyes White Dragon and Red Eyes Black Dragon. So without further ado, a spirit of the harp in this pack and lots of questionable <laughs> other cards. And to the next pack we go, so 24 boosters in total. Lots of awesome cards. A Carbonala Warrior. Oh wow. I think I still have lots of those lying around somewhere in a chunk drawer. Wonder why they don't make the cut these days. A stop defense. Curse of Dragon. Ah. Lovely card. Got outdated way too quickly. Uh, don't remember the set, but the Summon Sky. Of course, with 2500 for just one tribute. A giant Soldier of Stone, another 2000 defense monster. of course some pretty good spell cards in here potentially. Sky Servant, that's a funny little archetype nowadays. A Hane Hane. And lots of normal monsters. Also question which one is the best normal monster? I think was the chin in this eighteen hundred attack chin a flame ghost here. So four stars one thousand eight hundred attack. Or was that already in one of the later sets? Let's see. Maybe we pull so a carabin with fire knight but i already saw we have the left arm of a forbidden one not too shabby not too shabby of course i think the exodia the head is also worth a little bit if i recall correctly a metal dragon Lots of foreign normal monsters. Imagine if you the old cap with that direction. Barely any effect monsters. Different game at all. Oh, I can see something glowing. We have a flame ghost and a try hard <coughs> dragon. Ah, bummer. I think around two euros. You will of course see it. After I've edited the video, on to the next pack we go. Dark Fire Dragon. A Dragon Capture Jar and a Polymerization, which has also been outclassed nowadays. Well, technically back in the day we had Cyberkrug. Guy who summoned uh, evolution monsters for 5000 life. Flower Wolf. So, 
I think around half ten. And we have a grave digger ghoul and a dark hole. Very powerful card. Always has been. Destroying everything with no downside. Because you can, of course, always make sure that you're not losing anything. And an iconic card. What does it do? It draws two cards, which means that we draw two cards. I will stop. A pot of greed. Can you believe that they printed that at rare? Such a strong, <laughs> strong, strong card. And we have a flower wolf. Guessing that for the pot of Greek they took inspiration from other card games. Like in the Pokemon card game there was Bill, which was I think a common or uncommon back in the day. Also let you draw two cards. Stop defense. Which if I recall correctly was also heavily played back when it was the low powered meter, so to speak. We have a two-pronged attack and a Celtic Guardian. Very iconic card from the series, uh, not a very good card otherwise. On to the next pack we go. Where we have a Fusionist, which is just sad. You need to fuse two things together and you get stats which can't be beaten by a regular normal summon. <laughs> On to the next pack we go. Where we have an Aqua Madu, one of the 2k defense monsters. Giant Surge of Stone and a right arm of the Forbidden One. Right? That's pretty iconic. And we have four packs left to go. Let's see what we get. We get a Fisher, which is a very efficient removal if you're not playing five monsters in a turn on to the next pick where we have another stop defense second to last pack let's see what we can get A dragon, dragon capture jar once again. Last pack. Fingers crossed. We have an armed ninja, and that's it, I am afraid. So not going to open another one of those boxes just for your information that was basically a nostalgia trip a very expensive nostalgia trip compared to what we got so if you liked what you saw please consider leaving a like and subscribing thanks for watching i'll be seeing you at the next one